Hi everyone, it's Rich here from ECDP and I'm really pleased to say that I've got Faye and Pascal uh, here and we've just had our Fulfilling Potential focus group today uh, which has been fantastic, finding out some of our members' views of uh, the government's disability strategy, feeding into that and what have you. Uh, so we're just doing a quick reflection on that and I just wanted to find out what kind of, what were the main impressions, what was the key thing that you might have taken from today? Um, well, I think it was a very successful event. Um, it was very terribly well organised, so congratulations to you, Faye, for, uh, for organising it. Um, I think one of the things that really struck me as, as interesting is the, the fact that um, young people, and this was a young person's focus group, was that young people have an awful lot to contribute and an awful lot to say. Um, I think perhaps, and, and to some degree, it, it challenged my preconceptions, but I think the preconception is that uh, young people aren't engaged um, in their communities um, uh, in, in a way that we would like, but actually today um, showed us that they really are. Um, and they had a lot of really interesting uh, comments to make um, about the kind of social care that they receive um, and how they um, are treated more generally in, in society. So that was really exciting to see that actually there's a lot of uh, very interested and interesting young people in our community that we need to engage with. Um, because they have a lot of really valuable ideas um, that can not only make a difference to their own lives, but make a difference to the community more generally. Brilliant. That's Pascal. Faye, what about you? I think um, qu quite um, relative to that, I suppose, is, uh, related to that, um, it surprised me how much they had to say about the, the problems they'd face, but I, I get the impression that they're not very used to being asked about how they would overcome them. So I think it was quite a unique opportunity in that sense to really let them know that the government are listening to um, what the problems are, but their um, recommendations about how they would fix it. Um, I suppose they're quite used to having the problems because that's part of their day-to-day -day lives, um, but not so so used to being given the forum to discuss ways of overcoming those problems. Um, and they were really innovative and creative in the ways that they would do that, which was really good to see. Brilliant. And uh, just briefly, what's the plan of attack from now? What do we do with the information we got from people today? Well, we're going to add it to all the other um, information we've received from other disabled people in Essex through different groups we've held um, from our online survey, uh, which is open till Friday if people want to um, kind of have an input um, till then. And then we'll produce a report which will go to DWP and inform the new uh, disability strategy. Brilliant. And Pascal, we do this kind of stuff all the time, focus groups and engaging our members and clients and volunteers. So I guess the message is for people to get involved as much as they want to. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and I'm delighted to, uh, to see today that uh, people are, are willing to do so. So yes, moving ahead, we will have more focus groups and we will be contacting you. <laughs> Brilliant. And uh, thank you to you both for everything that you've done for today because it, it was a real success and that was down in uh, no small part to the work that you've done. So thank you so much. Pleasure. Thank you.